Hello everybody, hello, hello. Um, happy Monday, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, hope you're ready to smash your goals this week, like just ready, out of the gate, just like chomping at the bit, ready for this week, right? Um, <laughs> if you're not, that's okay. <laughs> There's time to get that kind of, that feeling back. Um, I just wanted to jump on here today. I My name is Corey Schumann. For those of you that might be on here that don't know me, um, I'm a certified personal trainer. I am a certified online trainer. I am the founder of Schumann Fitness. I love health and fitness and have a passion for wellness and, and I am just have a passion for spreading it to the world and, and teaching women about it everywhere. So, so that's kind of a little bit about me. Um, but last week I got on here, I jumped on here and I gave you guys just a really kind of a, um, here's the down low of like what's been going on. So I've posted in my stories and, and made a few posts about it here and there um, about my son's health and some issues that we have faced. Um, but I've never really gone into detail about it. And again, I, I debated I debated whether or not I ever would, but I kind of just, I feel like to be honest and, and also because I'm posting these things like he's in the hospital and people are like, what's wrong, what's going on? And then to never follow through with that, I feel like it's kind of kind of shitty. So, like, so I went ahead last week and like, just kind of gave you guys the, what we had found and what, what we finally, the conclusion that the doctors finally came to, which was that uh, my five-year-old has a brain tumor. So um, we did find out in this today, I just want to give you, um, like I said, a little bit of an update um, and invite you into the Facebook group where I will be updating about it. Okay. So my, my beautiful friend who I am so blessed to have in my life, um, her name's Natasha, and she decided she was just going to like do these amazing things like she just started this Facebook group and she started to go fund me and she I mean she just is a, a beautiful person and um, and so she did start this group and so I'm gonna be going live in there you know at least once a week and just kind of updating you guys on the situation on what's going on and what if we found out anything new and and what things look like moving forward um, just to kind of give you, like I said, just keep you guys updated. And like I said, there is a GoFundMe in there. You certainly are not obligated to donate to that. Um, but just to be in there and just follow along, uh, it just want to give you an opportunity, like a place where that's going to happen. So moving forward, I just want you to know I won't be updating on my personal page anymore. I'm just going to be updating in that group. And so I'll post the, the a link to that group in the comments below when I'm all done here. Um, but just wanted to kind of update you and invite you in. And so what we found out is since my last video and since last week, um, not a whole lot. We just found out the size. We found out that it's three centimeters in diameter, which is, you know, scary big, but, um, but it could be bigger, right? So um, <laughs> we found out that the surgery is, is a long one and it's gonna be kind of kind of tough, kind of arduous and, and uh, the recovery even more so. And so the doctor said, um, you need to plan on at, at the bare minimum is a week, about seven days in the hospital. Um, and he said, moving forward, it, you really need to prepare for longer than that because of his age and how big it is and, and the, you know, the size, et cetera, that you really just want to prepare for longer. But at the minimum, seven days, um, things like walking, talking, eating, you know, feeding himself, going to the bathroom, that, that could all be very, very likely um, interrupted. And he said he the, the likelihood of him losing it permanently, the ability to is not likely, um, but there is a likelihood that he'll lose some of that, if not all of that, uh, temporarily. And so... Uh, hey baby, this is him. This is him in case you don't know which one he is. Um, my younger one, this is Dominic. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty scary. Um, those things are definitely, you know, riveting. Um, and I, you know, people keep asking me like, how, how are you? How are you? How are you? Um, which I appreciate checking in with me. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have given. It has been overwhelming. The um, just supportive messages that you sent me and, and letters and just amazing, just people reaching out and being supportive and offering, you know, their, their prayers, their positive energy, their positive vibrations, their, all of it. I'm like, yes, welcome. Bring it on. Bring it on. It is so welcome. So, um, so thank you for that. But I did want to address that question of like, how am I? Um, I really, I mean, I think I'm okay. Like I, I'm okay, right? I'm fine. <laughs> no, I mean, really, I, I am doing okay for the most part. Um, I am dealing with the news as best I can. I'm preparing for what's ahead as best I can, if, if you even can prepare for such a thing, right? Um, I am trying to focus on all the, the positive things, and I do feel extremely grateful that it was found. Um, when it was right, it could be worse. Um, I am I'm beyond words grateful that uh, that the surgeon actually believes that once that is removed, that he will actually go back to the way that he he used to be, which is just such an intoxicating thought to me, um, because things have been really extreme. 
extremely um, just just severely oh, heart wrenching, heartbreaking, tough struggle, <laughs> whatever word you want to use. It's been rough. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to all those things and trying to focus on those as I move forward. So I'm like, okay, but um, I <laughs> but I think there's just this level of like, it's kind of a weird place to be in. Like we have been dealing with this, this craziness for so long that, you know, it's almost like, and I'm just gonna be really bare right now, like really, really transparent. Um, a friend of mine, uh, we were talking about this and she's like, so, you know, how are you really? Like, how are you doing? And I said, you know, I think the crazy thing is like all this insanity has been going on for so long in our home that nobody knew about I didn't tell anybody about and then we found out what was really wrong and I think somewhere in the back of my mind I just thought okay like it's gonna get better now <laughs> um, like okay things are gonna change and and frankly they just haven't okay because nothing's been done yet right like so so we found out and I think somewhere I just went all right okay here we go right um, but but nope <laughs> Everything is exactly the way it was before, you know, up until we do the surgery and they get it out, it's it's going to, you know, maintain that same level um, that it was before. And so I think that's just been my own personal kind of like adjustment that I've had to make um, that, okay, Corey, like wrap your head around this. Like things, things, yes, it's good that they found out, but things don't actually like get better until after. So like I just have to pull back from that. Um, one thing I didn't mention last week, actually, I have a hair tickling my face, sorry. Um, <laughs> One thing I didn't mention last week was um, was sleep. This has been one thing that's very, very affected, has been affected for the last year and a half. Um, all of a sudden, it was like nine day difference. You just stop sleeping, um, stop napping, stop sleeping, all the things. And so on a really, really good night, we'll get about five hours. That's like a highlight reel of the month. Like, yay, five hours. But on most nights, it's like three to four. Um, and then there are nights like night before last where you know there's just no sleep at all and there's no there's none there's just it's complete utter insomnia um where he just can't go to sleep he cannot you know he'll doze off and then he's right back up and then he goes off and right back up and he just can't get his body to to stop and um and so you know i have only so much in me before i just start to lose it because i need sleep and so um <laughs> so there's like this this you know this ambivalence of like I, I need to be patient he can't help it but I'm so exhausted I can't function and and so it's just you know it's tough and it makes and I believe it makes everything else worse because when you're when you're insanely tired like you can't make good choices like, like people, don't, people don't make good choices when they're exhausted right like they make they make really crappy choices and so then the next day everybody's on edge and everybody's you know making bad choices and I'm struggling with this and that and the other so it's there is this it's things are still tough I mean, I'm just going to be really, really honest. Things are still tough. But I am looking forward to that that time in the not-so-distant future where things are going to change. And so um, so I just want to be honest about that. Oh, and, and in that spirit, I think I actually, like, misspoke last week when I was telling the story of what happened. I think it was actually, like, my sister that suggested. She called me and said, hey, um, watch this episode of 2020. They're talking about this thing called pandas. And, like, and then I went to the doctor and was like, does this seem legit? And he's like, oh, actually, that might be it. So, and last week, I kind of, like, I think I, that I said that the doctor brought it up to me. And I, not that you care. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make any difference but I just want to be really honest on that and just just be clear so so anyway I think that was kind of the order of events that happened with the whole pandas um, suggestion or, or idea um, but anyway like I said it doesn't matter I just wanted to be honest with you guys so so that's it. That's kind of my update for this week. Um, like I said, I invite you into this Facebook group just because from now on I won't be posting on my personal page about this any longer. I will be actually only posting in the Facebook group. So if you want to join, I'd love to have you in there and just kind of follow along and, and again, just send us prayers and you, you know, we'll be updated. Um, very, very quickly after we find things out or after we understand what's coming up next or get any news of any kind. Um, so that's kind of where that's all going to happen. So I'll post that comment, or excuse me, I'll post that link to the Facebook group in the comments, and then you can join up if you want to. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for listening again. And I will be getting back to my normal like health and fitness topics very shortly. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to update you and, and invite you into that group. So thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you next time. Bye.